technically it's the afternoon of day six. Nate and I were up to about five o'clock in the morning trying to get the vlog uploaded. Uh, so far, no success from day five. So today, we're gonna be wandering around Kandahar Airfield hoping to find some decent enough internet to uh, upload last night's vlog. And again, this is just what happens here in Afghanistan. You can't guarantee anything. Uh, you can't guarantee where you're gonna sleep. You can't guarantee if you're gonna have an opportunity to, to upload easily. But uh, that's our goal today is to find a place to do that. And of course, as we travel, hopefully you'll have a chance to meet some uh, interesting individuals. Day six starts right now. Well, I'm sitting in the all seasons right now where we were finally able to track down some reliable internet. Um, as you know, there is a major offensive going on in the city of Marja right now, and uh, a lot of people here are pretty busy. Um, although we're not located where that is taking place, we are located in the regional command that is heading up the operation, so it's uh, easy to say that there's a lot of people around this base that are very busy. Uh, but we do hope to get out uh, towards that area, at least closer to that area, and talk to some of the folks who uh, have faced combat and uh, try to get their experiences. But in the meantime, we're going to take a walk out to the Kandahar Boardwalk, which is kind of like a little piece of heaven with a hockey rink and TGI Fridays. Uh, we're going to go see if we can talk to some service members and uh, get a feel for how they're doing here at Kandahar. What's your name? Your full name? Uh, James Bean. And where are you from, James? Uh, Watford, England. And how long have you been here in Afghanistan? Uh, I've been here just over a month now. A month? Yeah. And uh, what, have, what have you experienced so far? Um, no frontline action. Just uh, just back at the camps. We were on an airfield survey at the moment. Um, we've had a couple of rocket accidents. We got to Kandahar. Uh, Bastion. Bastion was pretty quiet. So uh, what do you think so far? Was it what you expected? Um, it was, yeah. I expected just a dusty, sort of barren place, and uh, it's not disappointed me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good. And uh, what, what family do you have back home? Uh, I've got my mum, my little brother Edward, um, and a dad as well. So they're and, all behind uh, me. What do they think about you being here? They're proud, really proud. Yeah. And what do you think about your uh, your countrymates back home? Do you think you think they understand what's what you're doing out here? Or? Um, no, I wouldn't force say that. No. You can't really sort of explain it to them either. So you just don't. I don't really bother. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what would you like to tell them about your experience here so far? That it's not too bad at all. I think some people they have reservations about coming out because they think it's all um, frontline action, but. There's so many uh, different jobs you can do out here, helping. And what do you think about the folks right now who are involved in like the mission out in Marja right now? Do you know any folks who are out there? Uh, I don't, but I've got a lot of respect for them. A lot of respect. Yeah, and uh, what they're doing is pretty hard out there, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Now, how, how important is the support role back here in Kandahar for those folks? Uh, it's massive, massive. It's, um, we work primarily in the maps, make the, the maps and the imagery for them. But we're just a small part to play. And do you feel proud of what you're doing? Yes. I, I think we know it makes a difference. So that's good. Well, I'll start with the next James. <laughs> um, James, if you could, just first tell me your first name and last name. I'm James Densley. And where are you from? I'm from Leicester in England. Okay, and how, have you been here for a month as well? I've been here for a month. I was previously out on Upper Herrick 8, over in Helmand. It's the first time I've spent any real time here at Kandahar. Okay, and what was your experience like at Helmand? Um, it seemed a lot more basic. I was out in the fobs uh, doing my job, but now here, the main camps, well more established. Even coming back now, the infrastructure's improved a lot more, the facilities are a lot better. Yeah. It's good. And what do you think of Kandahar? I think it's very big. I think there's a lot of people trying to be somebody. But overall, it's quite nice, comfortable here, yeah. Yeah. And what about the, what do you think of the boardwalk here with the restaurants and everything? Um, when you get here and you see this, it's like you didn't expect something to be like You hear stories about it and then you come here and see it for yourself. It's like a little bit of home, but also not at the same time. Yeah. Well, what are you drinking there? 
I'm drinking a uh, white chocolate mocha from the Green uh, Green Bean Cafe down there. Timmy Hortons was uh, unfortunately closed, so we uh, had to go to the alternative. <laughs> so how are those little creature comforts? Uh, what, are that, what does that do for you out here? Um, a break from work, sit down, have a co coffee, have a chat with your mates, just my normal things back home. It's good. Yeah. And uh, what about your family back home? What do you have back home? Oh, I've got two brothers, a sister, a mother and dad, my girlfriend. They're all back home in uh, Leicester. Yeah. I'm missing them quite a bit. I hope they're missing me. Can't wait to get home. Is there anything you'd like to tell them? Uh, just I'm missing you all and I can't wait to come home. Yeah. And what would you like them to know about your mission here? I'd like to know we're doing a good professional job. Everyone out there is doing their job. Everyone's working hard. And it's all come together. Today is a day of mixed feelings. As I walked around Kandahar Airfield, I had a chance to talk to a few different service members, and they were all really proud of the support function they played here. And what was also clear was the respect they have for their Afghan and ISAF partners who are risking their lives right now to free a city from Taliban rule. Now life at Kandahar, as you can see, is pretty plush. They have a lot of nice amenities, and the people here do enjoy it, and they're happy to have what they have. But no matter who you talk to, and you, no matter how passionate they are, about what they're doing. One thing's clear, they all look forward to the day they get to go home. Join us tomorrow as we continue 30 days through Afghanistan.